It is I. Beware. The Batman. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, hey guys, we're going to be talking about a new Cartoon Network series that just uh, released last Friday, actually. I actually made a video about it right after I watched the episode, but... Um, yeah, it I, I turned out it was really crappy. <laughs> Uh, I, I was barely even awake at that time. Uh, I feel a bit more awake now because I actually got a good enough sleep. And I was up late because uh, I actually DVR'd the episode. There's no way I'm getting up at 10 o'clock in the morning just to f watch a fucking Saturday morning cartoon. I'm sorry. The, we have Cartoon Network. Your Cartoon Network, we have your channel. Use it for Beware the Batman. Anyway. Now, uh... First off, let me say right now that um, if you do like the show, don't get used to it. It's going to get canceled. Trust me. It's it's going to get canceled. First off, because uh, I'm not I'm not getting cozy with the series. I now I guess we should get into the series itself, though it's probably going to be canceled. So whatever I say is going to work. Uh, but but uh, anyway. Beware the Batman is a new, is a somewhat new and old take on Batman, uh, in different, in different ways. One, it, sorry, I had an interruption, I had to cut it out, but, uh, anyway, Beware the Batman is the new CG series, um, for Batman. It has a similar CG style to Green Lantern. And I'm not exactly okay with this art style. Personally, I think it's, um... I, I really don't like this animation style. I think Batman looks absolutely stupid. His suit looks extra shiny, which bothers me. Yeah, the, the show's animation style really bothers me, but, uh, you know... You know, whatever, um, sorry for that pause there, um, <laughs> but it's just, I, I don't get the animation style, I, I really don't like it, I don't think it fits for Batman, but, you know, animation style aside, I think this is an okay series, I do, you know, I, I don't think it's as bad as we thought it was going to be, because I thought the series was going to suck, personally, the art style, it just, it bothered me. It it really did, and it looked like there was nothing new and nothing original put into it. And I still don't. But then again, it's really fucking hard to be original. Uh, the series has a very Batman the animated series feel, uh, with uh, the fact that it, it has a more serious and broader tone than most Batman series, which uh, Batman the animated series succeeded on, and this series pretty much succeeds on the same uh, level. It's actually made, from what I heard, I don't know if this is true or not, but I know it's made, I think it's made by the same teams as Batman Beyond and Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated. But, I could be wrong. If, you, if I am right, correct me on that. If I'm wrong, then correct me on it. <laughs> um, and, uh, if the team that worked on Batman Beyond can work on this, then I, I, I think I can get down with it, because I love Batman Beyond. Batman Beyond's amazing. But, you know, it's very similar to Batman the Animated Series in the fact that it has actual detective stuff. Yes, they're focusing on detective stuff, something we hadn't seen in any other Batman show other than Batman Beyond and Batman the Animated Series. And I didn't watch The Batman, and I definitely didn't want to watch Brave and the Bold. Dear God, that show was terrible. But, uh, <laughs> now I just pissed off a thousand of you that like Brave and the Bold. Um, <clears throat> now when I first saw the teaser to this, I was like, huh? First off, the villains look completely stupid. Basically, I'll talk about what the villains are for the show in a second. But, uh, first off, I want to take a side di a track, uh, to Batman's new, uh, allies. Of course, there's Alfred, because he is his butler, though Alfred is nothing like he was before. As we know, Alfred was an agent, or a, a British agent, or something like that in Batman the Animated Series. 
However, in this series, he's more of a CIA agent. Um, just he was he's more of an agent, but oh, I'm still tired. Um, Alfred, he he's a, he's more ninja. I, I I'd say he's more of a mentor toward Bruce than any other Alfred, because you know. He got into battles. He, he, he's an ex, agent, and he. Uh, he he is a lot different, and he's bald too. Yeah, he's bald. <laughs> I found that weird, but uh, you know, whatever. He he kind of looks like Lex Luthor with a crimson chin right here. It's it's, weird. Um. But uh, anyway. Uh, you'll, you'll understand what I'm talking about when you watch the series. But, uh, you know, Alfred's not really... They, they show more that he's a spy. They focus on more of the spy Alfred than the butler Alfred. At least to me, anyway. I mean, he's still Bruce's butler and everything, but still. And, uh... Robin and, uh... Dick Grayson, Robin, and Barbara Gordon, or Batgirl is n are not going to be in the series or at least not as Batgirl and not as Robin. I don't know if they're going to appear like off screen or something. But uh they are not going to appear in the series as Robin and Batgirl, at least not from what we know right now. The trick with this series is that it's supposed to show lesser known uh allies and villains. Katana uh ally yeah Basically, it, it's going to be the new Robin of the show. Uh, she is going to have a, well, the Katana. This bit. And, uh, it, it's, uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. I, I mean, I don't really care, you know. It, personally, I, I actually do like this approach to getting the lesser-known Gallery of Rhodes, especially, because these villains, you might have not seen them in the comics, and some of them, if you have seen them, uh, two of these villains take an honorable mention. Many people found them, you know, with meant much a lot of controversy that they were going to be extremely violent. Because, uh, the first one is Professor Pig. Yes, Professor Pig. You may know him as a butcher. <laughs> I'm not joking. He is psychotic in the comics. I mean, I never read the comics he was in, but from the pictures I've seen, he's basically like this... Doctor, he has this uh, hospital coat. He has blood all over it. He has a butcher's axe or whatever. He he's gruesome. He, he can literally creep the fuck out of you. He's one of those serial killers that can that takes a person's body and chops it in little pieces and eats it. It's just ugh. It, it, it's creepy. And I didn't expect to see him in a show like this. But, uh, he's in the show, you know, he, he's not like a serial killer, or someone, like a butcher, or whatever. He's not anything like that, he's, uh, he, he's basically, um, uh, um, I'm trying to think of a good villain that would fit, um, I don't know, <laughs> but, uh, he, Professor Pig is, uh, a, they nailed him really well. He's very serious, very dark, very gruesome. You know, he's still like a hunter or whatever. He's just, he's not as violent. But, uh, he is an animal activist. Similar to Poison Ivy, only she is an activist for plants, not, uh, not animals. <laughs> um, uh, next there is Mr. Toad, I believe that's his name is. And yes, that's his name. Imaginary names, I know. And get this, a uh, pig, and Professor Pig is spelled P Y P Y G. Yeah, P Y G. I could say all the creativity in that name. It's just great name. <laughs> anyway, um, Mr. Toad. Uh, I had a bit of issues with them. Uh, Mr. Toad, I like him. He was, he's a serious villain. But for one thing, he looks stupid in the series style. I think, anyway. And at the same time... 
What the fuck is with this sound attack that he has? He has this sonic wave attack or whatever from his mouth. He's like, uh... What does it have to do with a toad? I thought toads... This is... I don't know. I just found that weird. I didn't think that had anything to do with toads. I mean, I have a toad right there. It's my brother's toad in the kitchen right now. I don't think he can use a sonic wave attack. Uh, let's go out. Hey, hey, hey. Can you use a sonic wave attack? Huh? Can you? Can you use a sonic wave attack? He's not doing it. Well, that was a complete waste of time. That was disappointing, and I thought that would be fun. Um, anyway, um, this series has a very, uh, basically, this series is going to focus on lesser known gallery, uh, gallery roads. You won't see any Joker, or, um, a Catwoman, or anything like that. Uh, basically, they're going to be seeing new foes. The main villain of this is going to be Anarchy, and Anarchy actually sounds really interesting, because... He has similar gadgets to Batman. He looks like he's going to be like Batman's shadow. And I, I like that approach. I never, you know, there's never really a person that, you know, had similar abilities to Batman that could actually, you know, you know, just similar gadgets. He's basically Batman, only he's evil. Like, he's, he's it's an evil Batman, pretty much. And I like that approach to it. it it's it's going to be like, kind of like, Sonic and Shadow the Hedgehog, you know how Sonic and Shadow are similar to each other and they're rivals because of it. So, uh... I thought that was neat. Um... So, uh... Yeah, this series... You also have, uh... The next episode's gonna have... Uh, some woman... In it as a villain. I don't know. Uh, I know it's going to be actually interesting fact. It's going to be voiced by the same person who voiced Catwoman in Arkham City. So uh, that's going to be interesting, I guess. W what was her name? I forget what her name was. Uh, it's an another lesser known villain. Uh, but uh, anyway. Um, I, will see, uh, I will see the next episode. I will continue to follow the series. It has a very been there, done that feel to it. But, uh, I, I think I can, uh, get down with whatever they're doing. It's essentially Batman the Animated Series with a horrible CG animation style. Um, but, the, you know, the voice acting, I think the voice choices are good. You know, and it, it's about time we get back to the more animated series feel of Batman. You know, Batman the Animated Series. It's time we get to a serious feel again. It's time we get to the detective stuff. You know, this is what Batman, I think, should be. Not just crap on the other shows, like The Batman. Maybe Batman and Brave and the Bold, I can crap all over. But, you know, <laughs> all joking about how crappy Batman the Brave and the Bold is aside. This is a very good show. This is a pretty good show. I recommend people watch it if you're a fan of Batman. And you'll definitely uh, notice the uh, amount of little um, uh, minor gallery of rogues. Uh... If you're a fan of the Joker and stuff like that, you probably won't like this series. But I would at least give it a shot. So, uh... Oh, oh God, why am I so tired? Um, I will see you guys, uh, next time. I am the Seamian 235 signing out. Uh, I am still pissed off that Young Justice and Green Lantern was cancelled. Fucking Cartoon Network, goodbye.